Hello and welcome. We are doing paper one, chapter six. That is anthropological theories. In anthropological theories, uh, we have completed the uh, above mentioned theories. Now we are doing neo evolutionism. We have completed classical evolutionism, historical particularism, structuralism, functionalism, structural functionalism, diffusionism, and now neo evolutionism. In this, we uh, in the earlier videos we have finished uh, Gordon Child, Leslie White. And Julian Stewart. In this video, we are dealing with element service. Okay. Okay. So element service was interested in evolution of cultural phenomena. He was interested in evolutionary cultural phenomena, their origin, and their rise. Now he explained the manner in which civilization evolved through various stages. He basically gave this uh, manner in which the civilization evolved through various stages in the year 1962 when he wrote a book which is the primitive social organization and evolutionary perspective the primitive social organization and evolutionary perspective in this book he identifies four important stages in which the evolution of human civilization occurred there are dominant mode of social formation marking various stages of cultural evolution which he described it as band to tribal to chiefdom and finally state so this is how he defines the origin of civilization that from uh, bands now what band tribe chiefdom state uh, will study them in political organization paper one So just remember that Elvin Service have given when we will do this uh, political anthropology. So just remember that in the when we will do this topic, the contribution of Elvin Services will be important. So as far as the way we are dealing with the topics here, you see that uh, they are connected some or the other way. So when we will discuss that particular point, we will put their name and these books so that our uh, answer will look definitely better. Now, a band is usually a loose group, a loose group or a loose conglo uh, conglomerate or an uh, assemblage of few families who usually has common descent, okay, common descent, usually not necessary, okay, and some of the bands are exogamous. And some are endogamous. Endogamous it means that uh, the people or the children in this particular band will marry the person in this particular. If there is a band A and the band B, then we'll see that people from band A will marry the people in band A only. That is endogamy. But if any uh, person of group A will not marry any person in this group. A, but will marry another group that is B will call it as exogamous now usually nomadic okay usually usually they are nomadic in nature and this culture this culture usually this group occupies specific territory okay specific territory and engage with nature for livelihood and they are basically engaging in nature for livelihood the rule of kinship marriage and families is basically the it is developed okay so there are some of the basic rules which are developed here in contrast to band if you go to tribal society which has more settled life unlike the group of few families it could be very large the rules of kinship, marriage, family, management of property, inheritance are well developed. 
the tribes see here this rules of kinship marriage family are not developed or you say very uh, me at the lowest level it is developed but when it comes to chiefdom uh, sorry pardon me tribal it is well developed okay the tribe uh, it is not limited to some of the loose group there there is a strong connection between people there are more than one family that have a common descent okay the tribes they are both type mono uh, exogamous uh, always uh, as well as endogamous they live a settled life more settled life the tribes are confined to particular territory and have distinct sense of belongingness to that territory the political organization is uh, basically the comparison to in comparison to uh, band society is well developed but less developed in as compared to chiefdom chiefdom if we talk about chiefdom now so chiefdom comprises of large families it can have one or more tribes within it there are institutional mechanism for uh, running Uh, the chiefdom like uh, designated officers to assist the chief and carry out distinct task some importance uh, sometimes it can give rise to a kingdom this chiefdom can give rise to kingdom which is more developed and evolved form of chiefdom and these tribal uh, kingdom may give rise to a full fledged state according to service that elman service the state is the ultimate in uh, this evolutionary cons uh, sequence this classification tells us that the local population are more important than culture because he believed that by examining the relationship between people and environment he can talk of the local population the interaction between people and environment becomes meaningful not in context of culture but in context of local population his argument made a departure from steward and lesley white uh, lesley white and preference for culture he developed a scheme by examining the manner in which band tribe chiefdom developed characteristics ways of exp uh, exploiting resources from natural setting not only through technology but also through other mechanism he gave examples of first seasonal migration he gave example of seasonal migration where moving of people where more resources is available following several this seasonal rhythm by altering the territorial arrangement moving to the tree house or moving to hill top with same area and uh, basically transhuman now what is this transhuman i would request you to go and find by creating new group structure which will help in efficient mobilization of resource efficient mobilization of resource now to conclude this the contribution of uh, elman service lies in uh, bringing in additional uh, so social factor of resource mobilization in cultural evolution so the main focus that elman service brought was towards the factor of resource in cultural evolution in the next video when we meet we'll uh, do marshal sahalins thank you